come. We've got a whole roast there, rangatiki chicken. I'm going to show you how to beautifully roast that. There's a couple of different um, temperatures in the oven. We're going to show you those uh, a little bit later. And then we're going to stuff it. You can't have roast chicken without stuffing. And I love stuffing. And one of my favorites is sage and onion stuffing. But this time of the year, you know, they've got a lot of um, rain, so it's really hard to get uh, fresh herbs. So you can use dried herbs. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit today, and I've got some oregano and some sage, which we're going to put through the stuffing. But you can use any herbs you want, whatever you can get hold of. We're going to stuff the chicken, roast the chicken. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and we are doing a posh chef-style roast <laughs> chicken with our rangatiki chicken. Corn-fed, free-range. I don't know where... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you get posh from. Oh, okay. It's just no. stuffed. No, okay, but a posh stuffing, is it? Or just no, a normal stuffing? Onion. Yeah, no, no, it's just it's a okay. really, really basic... Um, you know, you can make stuffings with anything you want. You know, Good. you can put sausage, sausage meat in there, mushrooms in there, anything mm. what you've got to hand. Uh, so this is a really simple one and uh, great for herb um, stuffings. So I'm going to do... Uh, well, we would do sage and onion, but we couldn't get any sage, so I've got these dried herbs, so rosemary and oregano. But you can put anything you want in. Yeah, you're right, the rain has really affected a lot of produce at the moment. Yes, it's really it? hard at sort of certain types of the year, you know. Can you find Rocket at the moment? I can't find... I mean, first world problems. <laughs> I can't find Rocket. <laughs> uh, but I can't find Rocket at the moment. Oh, you just need to own a restaurant, mate. I can right. get you Rocket. Oh, really? It's very yeah. expensive, though. OK. Put it down for right. a kilo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll meet you up back later. OK. No, it is, it is really hard um, to, to yeah. find things at this time of year, just because of the excess rain. And that's why we're going to use dried um, herbs today, because we've got them in the cupboard. I went yeah, to check mum and, mum and dad. They had a whole lot of spices in their pantry. Expired in 1998. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, they're dry. <laughs> yeah, they're really dry. <laughs> yeah, obviously check them because they will lose their uh, flavour. OK. Um, and then if you're using dried, you can use a lot less. Uh, right, so we've just got a bit of butter in, uh, in yes. the pan. I'm just going to melt it down. So you might think that's a little bit excessive. Like oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got used to you, Mark. Uh, not not no, that excessive. We've got all these breadcrumbs in there, and we've got an egg to bind it all together, so the butter is actually going to flavour the breadcrumbs as well. So you can put a little bit of extra in. OK, that's nice. I'm going to put the dried herbs in there first. What have you got here? Oregano and... And rosemary. rosemary. So if, you, if yep. you're using fresh herbs, we'd put them in sort of towards the end. OK. Because they're dried, I'm going to put them in at the beginning with the onions, mm -hmm. and we're just going to sweat them down. So just low temperature, just let them cook in the, um, in the butter and the herbs, get all the flavours, and you just want to soften them. So a nice translucent, uh, soften them. We'll give them a nice bit of seasoning. OK. Nice. And uh, cook them. You know, it won't take long, two or three minutes. You know, you still want a little bit of texture on there. It is going to go in the chicken and going to cook for another probably, like, what, 40, 40, 40, 50 minutes. Nice. OK, next phase. Right. So next phase, so I've got the breadcrumbs. So yep. use whatever breadcrumbs you want. So there's mm -hmm. little wholemeal breadcrumbs there. Yum. I'm going to pop an egg in there. OK, helps bind it all together. Yeah, and then I'm going to put some uh, lemon zest in there. OK. So, I would never have thought to put lemon zest in. Well, no, it just gives it a nice um, a nice zing to it. OK. So it's just it's quite nice, you know, as you're eating through all the chicken, you've got this nice zing in the, in the middle. And lemon and chicken is a fantastic combination, you know? Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. And this, you know, as we said, it's ring a tikka chicken, it's corn-fed, it's free-range. This is full of flavour anyway, just in its natural state, but you can enhance it by making this what seems to be relatively simple stuffing. Oh, definitely. Full of flavour. It? Yeah, it's really simple. So you can follow this recipe or you can just, you know, you can mix it out to whatever ingredients you want. Put a little bit of the juice in there as well. Put a tiny bit more seasoning in here. A little bit of salt, a little taste. bit of pepper. Yeah. And then we'll start mixing that together. So a good tip for you as well with the chicken, if you can, you've got time, take it out of the packaging, give it a wipe and put yep. it in the fridge uncovered mm -hmm. uh, on a shelf, you know, away from everything, but uncovered overnight or at least two, three hours, you know, and it'll start drying the skin out and it'll get a nice, even, golden, crispy ah, skin. So okay. there's a little tip for you. Thank you. That's good. All right, so onions, onions pretty much there, maybe another minute or so, but just for the sake of time, we'll pop the onions in there now. Yep. And then mix it all together. And then we're just going to stuff our chicken. OK. So obviously, if you're at home and you've got a little bit more time, you can do this so it's not, um, you know, so it cools down a little bit. Right. And then in the cavity, you just uh, wipe the cavity out right, so see, it's nice and dry. OK, I've eaten a lot of chicken, but I've never stuffed one, cos I usually... I get lazy. <laughs> I well, usually lazy and I buy, them, I buy them stuffed. You know. Well, and now you can make it yourself. There you go. So you, what do you do? You just so I'm just, I'm just popping it in the, you can. Yeah, yeah, and okay. keep compacting it down. And it's quite dry, this stuffing, but as the chicken roasts and all the juices are going to go into that breadcrumb, sort of like puff it up and set, and it's just going to be super tasty. 
Yum. Okay, nice work. Well, we'll come back very soon, get more tips for getting this chicken absolutely perfect. So we need to finish up this brilliant roast chicken. So we've stuffed it and we are ready to cook. Any other last minute tips? Butter. Butter. <laughs> How did I know? So, okay, so, so and just get some soft butter and then yep. it's gonna sort of rub it and massage it all over the skin. Mm -hmm. And then if you've got you know, if you've got a couple of knobs of butter, you can just leave it on. Leave it That's on fine. there. There you go. No, but it's good. It's going to help it. It's going to help it colour. You can, you don't have to because you put so much butter on, but you can put a little bit of oil on. Just, it's just a little bit. God, it's, just, it's all going to fall off anyway. And then I'm going to give it a light seasoning. Well, that looks divine. And that is ready to go in the oven. So 220 nice. degrees for about 15 minutes. A really hot oven. That's going to set the skin, get mm -hmm. it start getting uh, colour into that because it's already dry, remember, so it, will it won't take long to get the colour in. And then you're going to turn it down to about 160 for about another 25, 35 minutes until it's cooked, depending on the size of the chicken. And then you want to take it out, let it rest, yes. and that is where we are now. Wow, watch magic. this. Through the magic of television. <laughs> Eat your heart out, David Copperfield. Ta-da! Here we go. <laughs> I've just cooked it. Wow, look at that. That, that. that was great, Amazing, David. isn't it? Right, so we've got our chicken. So we're gonna, we're gonna strain all these juices off here. What do you want them for, gravy? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep them because that is gonna make a really nice gravy. Right, and then we're gonna take the chicken out. Yes. So we're gonna leave it and rest, rest it in a nice warm place. You can cover it with foil if you want, sort of on top of the oven. Yes. Or somewhere nice and warm. And then the same pan uh, where you roasted the chicken in, we're gonna make a little quick gravy. Oh yeah, okay, okay, cool. So sorry, I forgot to mention, when we put the chicken in the oven, so why we've got all this excess juice as well, we've put some white wine and some water in there as well. On, on the chicken? Yeah, in oh, the chicken okay, when cool. you roast it, so that's just gonna help. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour in here, and then just what you wanna do is just sort of get all these little sediments. Yes. I mean, how do you know when to add this? Oh, not yet, not yet. OK. We've got some more goodies to add. So all the little sediments from the roast in the chicken, that's all the flavour. So that's what you want to get up here now. Right. Those are the bits and I then... usually eat with my finger. <laughs> exactly, because they're the yeah, tastiest. It does taste And then what we're going to do is pop some white wine in there. Yep. And then that's just going to get it all off. Probably better if you do it in a casserole pot. Okay, right. But you I get see. the you get so the you general break it down. Yep. That's yeah. getting there. And it's then so good. you just you're just popping it in, and then that flour's dissolving into the white wine. And then as you cook it, it's going to go thicker, and that's what you want. And obviously, cooking with flour, you want to make sure it's cooked out. So always taste it, so it shouldn't taste floury. Okay. And now you can put your juices in there. Okay, sweet. Here we go. Pop your juices in. Pop them all in. It's all flavour. Yeah. Don't waste anything, you know? Don't waste anything. Okay, That's nice. it. So just going to keep cooking that out, nice and thick, and then we'll just give it a taste. Mm. Oh, beautiful. It needs a little bit longer cooking. A little, a little bit, bit of salt. salt, pepper. If you want, you can put a bit more um, lemon juice in, and I've got a little bit of stock in as well. Is that chicken stock? Yeah, yep. a little bit of chicken stock, just to get everything else off the pot and make it go a little bit further. OK, so just cook that out. You've taught me a few good things today about the uh, skin, getting it crispy. Yep. Also about the butter and the oil, a little bit of wine in there as well, and now make your own gravy. Beautiful. There you go, never buy roast chicken again. No, that's right. I will make my own <laughs> and stuff it. <laughs> yeah, no denying. Yeah. <laughs> How's your gravy? Beautiful. So gravy's nice and thick, full of flavour with all those uh, juices from the chicken in there, just taking the leg off and the breast, just taking the, the stuffing out of the cavity and just put it on the side. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. I love a good stuffing. I love a good chicken. There All my dreams have come true at once. Oh, yum. yum. Look at that.